Hi, my name is Meredith Price, and in this tutorial I will review the new histogram zoom feature introduced in Amaris 9. The zoom functionality is available throughout Amaris. The zoom feature allows you to more easily establish minimum and maximum thresholds in a given situation. This includes zooming into the histogram of intensity values for the channels within your image on the display adjustment window and in the new blend mode histogram on the volume settings tab. You can also zoom into histograms during the object creation wizards on the threshold and classify steps, as well as at the completion of a wizard on the filter tab. The new zoom behavior is also available for the 1D thresholds in the colib view. Using the zoom tool is easy and intuitive. Hover over the histogram and use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Use left and right clicks to set minimum and maximum thresholds. You can click and hold to drag those thresholds. To pan, Right-click and hold the yellow rectangle seen in the zoom bar in the picture on the right. Double right-click on the zoom bar to reset the view. Now I'll show you these features inside Amaris. Here's an image of a zebrafish embryo. I'm using the display adjustment window to show the histogram zoom tools. I'll turn off channel 1. I'm right-clicking and dragging to adjust the maximum threshold. Now many of the lower intensity voxels are apparent so I'll adjust the minimum threshold for the display. To make this step easier, I zoom into the histogram. I reset the zoom view by double right-clicking on the zoom bar above the histogram. I can perform similar tasks on the first channel. The zoom tools work exactly the same way when dealing with objects you've identified with Amaris's spots, surfaces, filaments, or cells wizards. Here I've identified surfaces and can display a histogram of the surfaces volumes on the filter tab. To select all surfaces except for some of the smallest ones, I zoom into the histogram, then pan by right-clicking and holding the yellow rectangle in the zoom bar, and finally I left-click and hold to drag the minimum threshold. Once the threshold is set, I click the Duplicate to New Surfaces button, a new surfaces object is created in the scene list, and the values used for the filtering are included in the name. If you have any questions about these features, please contact your local sales and support teams whose contact information is found on the contact page of our website.